Hey guys, and welcome back to All About the Popcorn. I'm Stephanie, this is my little sister Desiree, and this heifer is back from Puerto Rico. Don't hate. <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking to you guys about the protege. Why this person park over here? I know, we're over here to be parked <laughs> next to us, you guys. We're oh, trying to be discreet. Oh, look, and now the sun is coming <laughs> out and I look wider. I look good. Damn it! You only do five words. <laughs> yeah, do you have actually stuff to say today? No. Oh, see? Okay, go ahead, sister, little sister. Okay, you, you, okay, okay. All you need to know. So, <laughs> you always kill me with your all you need to know. <laughs> so I'm asking too much from her, you guys. Yeah. Because, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm she knows that she it. likes it. Yeah, I was just there to watch you. She's like, I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not, you know, I get dragged on, onto these reviews. I sure do. Okay, other sister. She decides to drag us all into her reviews. And whether they like it or not. It was okay. Uh, I didn't love it, love it. The... The fight scene, the choreography, just so fake. <laughs> I mean, I know it's fake, but it's just so, you can tell, like literally like every single move was just so obvious. I like the little, the banter between mm -hmm. them. I hadn't seen the, the trailer. Oh, you know me, I don't have time to see trailers, yeah. so I haven't seen, I didn't see the trailer, so I didn't really know that Michael Keaton was sort Involved. of a, ba a bad guy. Cause not a bad guy, but bad guy. It's an enjoyable movie. Uh, I, I did like it. I, I'm glad I saw it. So I did go into this movie actually knowing about it. Um, recently, I hadn't been um, going in knowing much about the movies. Um, well, that tends to go more so to like the smaller scale movies and like the bigger blockbusters. I actually do check them out. So I was looking forward to it. Um, it's a decent enough small scale action movie. It's a perfect way, I guess, to end the summer. Would have been better if it had like way more action, way more kills, but then it would have also taken away from what it was. Storyline. I really do love Maggie, yeah, Maggie Q. I mean, I'm not like a diehard fan of hers. And of course, Michael Keaton, like I said. And um, like she said, like their, their chemistry was just so like great. That whole like tension, the like, I'm gonna murder you, but then I also want to like do dirty, dirty things to you. And it was like, I mean, it's like this little banter that goes back and forth. It was great. And then like, the like Bruce Wayne of him comes out and he's just so like charismatic. He's so cool. I said, Michael Keaton, you kind of hot. Like I kind of forgot how hot you are. I never forgot. He got like that swab debonair yes. thing going. He'd like be looking good. Like he doesn't need to try. I did like the action and I did like the stunt work, I didn't think it was as noticeable as you're saying. Like, I'm literally thinking back and I'm like, was it that noticeable? But I don't know if because maybe you're thinking you're wanting like more from it, like more unrealistic things from it. Because if you think about it, like, I think it worked great because she's this tiny person. So she worked towards the advantages using like her angles and her like, you know, proportions to like be able to I, actually do I stuff. I don't think it was so much the fighting with him that I didn't like because that one was obviously the whole holding back fighting uh -huh. no with design. the other guy yeah. you know like with the like the the, the what's it called yeah. the, the bed sheet and stuff I mean like the way that she's using like her body and the things around her to be able to actually defend herself and have a chance against these like 200 six foot pound men you know because realistically this tiny person can't you know lift you know, like in other movies, you know, like where they like this tiny girl, I mean, no matter how muscular, how much of a badass she is, you know, it's pretty hard to get that momentum to actually like, unless you're like, you know, charging at them like football stuff. But I I felt like it worked very well with the advantages that she had with her proportion, with using things to help her murder these other pay, uh, people. Uh, but that's what we're here for you guys. You know, not everybody agrees sometimes. So, you know, everybody sees things differently. So, uh, wait, who, and we have somebody else suspicious? Is that the car over there? Samuel L. Jackson, of course, he's not in it that much. I mean, at this point in Samuel L. Jackson's life, career, 
he doesn't necessarily need to be in a movie the whole time. I mean, they could only afford him probably for like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And he gets like, you know, signed this huge check and like he's good with it. I mean, his name obviously is on the posters. It is mentioned throughout the trailer because it's freaking Samuel L. Jackson. They gotta get, you know, seats. Well, butts in those seats and that's a big name to get, but you're not going to be seeing a whole lot of him, which shouldn't be a big surprise. Cause like, again, you really don't, Stop. <laughs> yeah, no, I talk with my hands. <laughs> you know, you really don't get, uh, you really don't see Samuel L. Jackson so much on screen anymore. <laughs> They're such bullies today. Y'all see this? Y'all see this, right? What All right. What are doing? <laughs> I don't know. This one over here is being a bully. My foot is falling asleep. I'm trying to come on that me. Okay, that's how we're gonna talk about the protege. What did y'all think of what are you, I mean, what are y'all gonna score it? Medium popcorn. Medium. Medium popcorn as well. Not one that you necessarily have to rush the theaters to check out. And you can wait for it, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it's, it's good enough. It has enough action to it, but it's not like big scale action. But you do get, um, in my opinion, some pretty good fight sequences, and her opinions are very noticeable. Uh, <laughs> What's it called? I Stunt can, work. I can say I like the storyline. Yeah. I, I love the storyline. Yeah, okay. Well, she liked the storyline. Yeah. Storyline was great. It's a revenge tale. Um, so, of course. Yeah, and, I mean, you know, we, we've already talked about, well, I've talked about another revenge tale. Um, in my previous review for Sweet Girls, also a revenge tale. Uh, between that one and this one, I would definitely recommend um, this to watch from the movies that I have seen this weekend. Um, or Annette. Annette is, it's a weird ass musical if you're into that. You can check out my review. Today's video was like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's like all over the place, but it, what's new? Not this thing, yeah, it's just this kind of who we are. If you've seen the protege, let us know down below what did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you uh, planning on checking it out? Is something you're gonna pass on? Let us know down below in the comment section. Until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye. <laughs>